Okay, let's go through what I believe now the edge is playing and what I played for my cover. Okay, we're going to take out some of the notes of this riff where I put in a note on every eighth note. When I did this, when I did this, there was a note in every eighth note there. But now we're going to take away a couple. So when I take away a note, I'm going to say pause. And when I say pause, pause is where there's an eighth note beat with no note. That's what I'm trying to say. Here we go. So the first note is the A. Okay, then the second is the fourth string G. And then the second string, the fifth string B. Okay. Pause. There's no note there next, okay? So we have this. Pause. And then you hit those two again. Okay? So now we have this. Pause. G. Okay, then you're going to hit that G string. Okay? So now we have this. See where those pauses were? Pause. Pause. One more time. There you go. Now we're going to go and hit the bass note after that. So we have this. So notice it's similar to the same the riff I started with before, but there are notes coming out and pauses coming in. So we got this. Pause. Pause. Okay. Now let's continue. And we have this. Pause. Pause. So then we went after the bass note, we've gone back to here, the four string G. So now we have this. the natural is going to, we're going to go right, natural next note is this fifth string B string. So now we have this. And now we're going to go up and hit the, the fourth string G string. Okay. So we have this. know what's coming next, you can hear it. The next string is going to, now we're going to go up to the high, the E string, and then the B string. And we're almost done with the whole riff. So now we have this. Pause. Pause. I'm going to play it down here because I'm more comfortable make sure I got it right. This G on the way back up. There's a pause, so at, let me do that again. Pause, and then hit that, okay? Then hit that uh, G string, and then repeat. I'll do it slowly. So that is the main basic riff. Now let's uh, stop there and we'll go on the next part. We'll show you how to go to the next bass note. And I'm also going to be showing you a second way to do this. Let's play that with the delay real quick. Okay. With the delay, I got to play it in time. So we get this. So you can see my picking. 
Notice, don't, now don't try not to listen to the delay. Watch my pick and you'll see. I'm not playing every eighth note. I'm not playing a note on every eighth note beat. And notice, you've got to be on time here. And the way I hear that I'm on time is that little double bounce is what most people describe it this way. It's a, they describe it as a double bounce. Let's do that again and I'll try to point it out as I go through it. You hear that delay, it kind of boom, boom. When you hear that, and if you play too slow, you get this. Right? There's no real timing chunky bounce to that. If you play too fast, if you play too fast, you get this. I'm almost playing on top of the delay. So you play and you can use a metronome or your tempo light to make sure you're playing on tempo so you get it right. But once you get experienced, you know what the sound sounds like. So you will actually start playing in tempo with the delay, meaning you know how the dotted eighth note is supposed to sound. So you have to get used to playing on beat of the quarter note, the eighth notes, and not let the delay get in your way. It takes some time, uh, and it took me a long time to get used to it, but I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so now let's go to the next part.